In the beginning there was zero, and zero was all there was. Zero never did much, for nothing never does. But then one fateful moment, zero had a thought. Zero started thinking of all that it was not. Then zero started visualizing all that it could be, and soon it came to realize it could be anything. Zero could potentially be two plus eight plus three, as long as it was sure to add negative thirteen. It could be thirty divided by five, then multiplied by nine, if it also negatively added twelve times four point five. It could even be i times pi, then e to the power of that. As long as one was added to, zero was still intact. But these kinds of equations needed some chronology. Calculations require time, so time came into being. Now zero could express itself with separate entities, a daunting infinite amount of possibilities. But then an unexpected thing soon began to occur. Those new and separate entities started to observe. First they became aware of themselves, then they looked out far, and then they all began to notice other equation parts. Nine saw thirty divided by five. Three noticed four point five. E discovered eight plus three. One saw i times pi. They observed each other curiously and tried to do the math. What did these random numbers mean? They craved to understand. Only zero knows the answer to the equation in its head. It always has and always will be zero in the end.